Welcome to the studio. This is a um, studio cleaning and organizing day. I don't know how much I'm going to get done because um, I'm getting ready for an event tomorrow, but I will do the best I can. All right, so this is what the studio looks like right now. I did get quite a bit cleaned and swept. Got my snake plant duo here taken care of. But what I need to do next is find a place for all these art books. Lots and lots of art books. And I have my bookcase over here, and I think I'm going to go ahead and just stick them here and see if they'll fit here for now. But I may end up moving down into here. This whole side is a mess with some packing supplies and reference books, which I still need to go through. And then the rest of the art books. But that's what I'm going to do for now. I'm going to set them here, and we'll see how it goes. So that is where we're at. They're not organized, but I'll be doing that another time. I don't think I'm gonna do that today. I originally had them organized by medium, and then I started pulling them out and reading them and using them, and then put them back, not in order. Um, but I had them by medium. I had all of my anatomy books here, and the ones on photography um, were kind of all here. And then I had um, painting ones and illustration ones. And then I had some watercolors here, but I was gonna try to move these to just general paint and, like painting and drawing combination books. And then I had the rest of my watercolor books here. And then um, oil painting and drawing was all in, all in this one. And then all the short books were in the end. And then I just had my drawing doodads, some extra black wing erasers, my um, big graphite sticks. I have a Lyra here my graph cube, my little pointy pottery things that I use for um, graphite transfers, some sharpies, pens, micron, pencil sharpener, some extra jumbo pencils. The rest of the these items are in my two plein air kits. My sketching kit has my other pencils and my um, watercolor one actually has I think the other one of this. Then I have miscellaneous stuff here, some old watercolor paper, some old Strathmore, and I have this pad of Yepo paper, and I saw that um, an artist that I follow on YouTube, who I will link down below, um, uses this for oil painting. And I was just completely like dumbfounded by that. I'm like, how could you do that? But I have, I got this paper a long time ago to try, and I really don't like it. It is basically just plastic paper. And I don't like the way that it works with watercolor. Um, that's just my personal preference. So I do have some of that, so I'm definitely going to be trying that for oils. Then I have all my other papers. These are all my drawing papers, um, tracing papers. There's there's more books. There's more books down here too. And it's old sketchbooks, that kind of thing. And then packing supplies for my other business are actually down here, but my art packing supplies are going to be moved here soon. So that's my progress so far. I found a couple more books. So the two top Shells are pretty much stuffed. I still have these um, books and various things. I also discovered just how much paper that I have that's not used, including two big pads of charcoal paper um, that I think I need to experiment some with. Then I just have a huge pad of recycled drawing paper and then a huge pad of recycled um, crystal paper which is also good stuff, so i got to play with that a little more. So I'm going through my paper stack and I find an entire pad of perfectly good pastel colored paper, which I don't even know where it came from, but I have it. Had no idea. How about that? All right, question for all fellow artists out there that store um, sketchbooks and paper pads like this. I've been trying to keep them 
horizontal so that the weight will keep them flat and avoid them being damaged um, except for these big ones that won't fit but I'm wondering if I should do it a different way because it's very hard for me to figure out what I have as I'm learning <laughs> going through this stack and also it like makes me not want to dig through the stuff to find them and use them so if there's any solutions that won't damage the paper other than just piling it like this which probably isn't the best way to do it anyway so anyway leave your suggestions below because I really need to figure this problem out I also have this monstrosity to take care of since I don't have a lot of table space everything kind of got flung on this flimsy old card table um, which isn't the best arrangement um, I'm eventually gonna get another desk or big table to put down here first table space but for now I'm gonna be using this but I need to clean it off and put stuff away because there's stuff everywhere everywhere and this is after some cleaning has been done that I did off camera So if you know me personally, you'll know that I am not an acrylic fan, um, but recently I've wanted to experiment a little bit with it, especially since you can use acrylic underneath oils, and I'm currently um, doing a lot of oil painting and getting really into it. Well, <laughs> while I was cleaning the studio here, I came across this, a um, really cheap royal and lang, -like and lang nickel, I can't pronounce that, acrylic set. How perfect is that? And it comes with a couple little brushes too, so I don't have to use my other ones. So I thought that was pretty cool, so I'm gonna find a place for this and we'll play with that later. Alright, so I got the little card table cleaned off and I was starting to put stuff in the cart and over here I have this huge pile of stuff that needs a home and stuff on the chair too. Um, but I'm not exactly sure where to put it because, as you can see, this is a complete This area is pretty cleaned out. I wiped everything down in that shelf and I think I'm gonna go ahead and move up to the shelf here um, since there's not too much in it and um, but I think I can eliminate some of those bins. Um, they're hardware store bins actually um, that I got to organize art supplies but I don't think I need all of them. I think they're just filling up with stuff and then I never use it and then what's the point of having it? So that's what I'm gonna do next. So I have a small collection of um, some Reeves acrylics, not all of them are still good, and then I got a couple of these from a different project, some heavy body acrylics in a couple colors, and I also discovered this set of Royal and Langnickel um, acrylic paint set, and I kind of want to keep all the acrylic stuff together. But I don't really have a container that I think will fit everything. So I'm gonna see if I can't use one of these left over that I won't need for um, other supplies because I cleaned that area out. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. we 
go. So everything is loose in this container, which I think will be easier for me to just reach in and grab them. And since they're both, um, you know, not super expensive paints, I don't see any fancy storage containers in the future. They don't really need it. They're just for me to practice and experiment and play. And then the few that are nicer, like these heavy body acrylics, will just stay with them. And then all the brushes that are acrylic only <laughs> will be in here. And that um, acrylic set came with this little plastic palette nice. I just stuck that in there too. And it also came with this little plastic palette, which I may or may not use. I usually, will probably use palette paper. And I was using this um, little yogurt cup as an acrylic water container because I don't want to mix my watercolor containers with my acrylic containers. That would be bad. Okay, so I have the acrylic bin all put together and I put my uh, Liquitex acrylic gouache in here too, um, which I need to review yet. And then I also have my regular gouache and I decided just to leave it in its tray because I really like these trays. And the brushes are together with it, the water container, um, just so everything is in one place. So all I need to grab is paper and water and I'm ready to go. <laughs> I also put the cut up cardboard um, that I used to put paper on when I'm painting um, just to keep them on a solid surface. I put them in here um, so they're kind of all in the same general area. So the next area that I want to look at is the watercolor area. So I have a couple blocks, a couple aqua boards, um, some paper pads um, for watercolor that are smaller than what I have over here in the regular paper area. Um, and I'm not sure what I want to do about that. My dilemma with my watercolor paper is I have these pads of like student grade paper that I use to practice on and then I have my really nice paper over here in these big sheets and then I have cut up pieces and blocks and kind of everything else here. And I don't really like having the paper in three different places. It'd be nice just to know exactly what I have in one place. But I'm not sure how to do that because it's hard to deal with these, and it's hard to find places to put all the paper pads, because I have a lot of them. So that's my current dilemma. <laughs> so I'm gonna move things around and see what I think. I also have this huge Masterson watercolor palette that stuff has just kind of got piled on top of, um, and I don't really want that damaged. I've had that forever. It was my very first watercolor palette. And I have other palettes, and this is a this is a um, Gentleman Jack bottle that I use for water. <laughs> but I have all the watercolor stuff in this general area. And I also have a whole thing of these lovely general Kim Kimberly general watercolor pencils. And I'm not sure if I should put them with my pencil collection, um, where all my dry media stuff is, or if I should leave them in the watercolor area somewhere. Um, I really don't use these very often though, so they don't need to be super accessible. So maybe I'll just stick them over in the dry media area. Maybe I'll just do that. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. And then after I address the watercolor area, I have this area. This is my oil painting surface area. And all my cleaning stuff, I have some Gamsol in there. I have some Dawn Dish Soap in this soap dispenser. Um, and things like that. My brush cleaner, my absolute favorite brush cleaner, works like a charm. So all that kind of all that kind of stuff is right in here. So I want to organize that, um, make sure everything's there. Again, I have bigger canvases and like bigger surfaces that just don't fit in that bookcase, which is kind of annoying. Um, that they're in different places. <laughs> I'd like everything of one category to be in one place. I just, I like that organization. But I know it's probably not gonna happen. So I'm going to deal with this after all of this. All right, so this is what I have so far. I did end up putting the light palettes on top um, just cause there's nowhere else to put them really. And then I have my Daniel Smith test kit, which I need to do, my plein air watercolor sketch kit. And then down here, I put the paper on this corner and my new sketchbook. So it's all there, including the test papers. I put the sponges in together with the paint tubes, because I don't really use them as often, unless I need to refill a palette. 
my um, working station, which includes my little ceramic plate and my um, Talenti jar of water, my little secondary cleaning jar, my sponge, my paper towels. The rest of the sponges in the Reeves watercolor set is also in this bin. My most used watercolor brushes are here, and then the other watercolor brushes that I use once in a while are back here. Mediums are in here. My spray bottle is near the front because I do use that quite a bit. And that's most of the watercolor stuff, so I'm surprised that it fit in here that well. I wish it was less crowded, but there's, I just have a lot of stuff. So far we have the acrylic area, the gouache area, um, boards to cardboard pieces to tape paper to, watercolor palettes, rest of watercolor stuff, I have um, Gamsol, oil painting mediums, varnishes, palette knives, solvent gels, here I have tools, so my tape, my scissors, my tube ringer, my razor to clean my oil palette, um, pliers to open paint tubes, that kind of stuff. And then there's just the rest to do. Oh, I did clean this out earlier. So I have miscellaneous tools, um, sponges, paint containers, extra spray bottles, binder clips, uh, bungee cords, extra paper towels, both my shop towels and my softer Viva towels miscellaneous brushes for varnishing and using gesso and that kind of stuff. All my primers, gessos, acrylic mediums and such. And that's all that I got done for now. <laughs> so I got one, two, three, four, five sections of this bookcase cleaned. Um, I think it's pretty good. I think that's pretty good. So the next areas I'd work on would be the oil painting surface areas and cleaning stuff which some of that might get moved down there and then the bottom area and then I just have some miscellaneous stuff over here wow that's bright sorry about that that's better less bright uh, I just have other stuff over here that's kind of just sitting and stuff that I needed to keep out my sample kit paintings that I sketched out but didn't finish um, this area still needs a lot of work but it looks better and then this table just has some stuff left over and some more of these containers. I don't know if I'm going to need them yet, so I'm just going to keep them around. Trash is filling up. <laughs> this area needs work. I started on the bottom section, but it still needs more stuff. And I have a sketchbook here um, waiting to be painted on. I, um, in between filming this, I took a break and was watching some YouTube. Um, Catnip and Friend Nerd, um, some of my favorite YouTubers. I'm probably not pronouncing those names right. Um, so I was watching some of their vlogs and new videos. And I might take another break since it's like almost 5.30 and go up and watch another vlog <laughs> or two. And then I gotta come back down and I think what I'm gonna do next is organize this and clean this. Um, I need to clean this up and pack up my oil painting setup in my big bag for tomorrow's demo. I'm attending a workshop with Susan Nicholas Gephardt um, at the Rooney Mead Arboretum and Sculpture Garden in... Oh, I, I don't remember if it's a Belfont address or a Bullsburg address. I think it's a Bullsburg address. Um, Bullsburg, Pennsylvania, I believe. In that area. I'll, I'll put it on the screen. <laughs> so I'm attending a workshop tomorrow and I'm going to be helping film um, some videos for Susan, uh, which is going to be a lot of fun. I really enjoy doing that stuff. But I will get some, oops, I will get some time to paint too, which I'm very excited about. I was not expecting to be able to paint. So that's what I got to get ready for. And I think I'm going to do kind of the same thing with the palette paper on top of the glass, just because I like having a smaller area right now to paint um, so I'm not tempted to put out as many colors and then I don't have to worry about waiting for about cleaning it immediately and waiting you know and worrying about it drying on the glass because it gets as you can see I start to really mess this up and it's just a little bit easier <laughs> so I'm gonna do that and um, it'll be very easy to just roll this up and clean it up and not worry about cleaning the glass palette when I get home and then you know, it's all wrapped up and clean, and I don't have to worry about it. 
Alright, I am back from my break and I have created a nice list of everything that I need to bring in a nice classic like bullet journal format because that's what I like to do. And so I'm going to start working on that. The first thing I need to do though before I pack is actually clean this up and get this all done. Um, it's already like 6.30. So I'm not sure if I'm going to actually have time to paint before I clean all this up. And if I do, I might just pull out watercolors because I want to get this oil set up ready for tomorrow. So that's what I'm going to do next. I have a lot of work to do. if I'm going to put the colors directly on this and get it packed or not, but I think that is what I'm going to end up doing. So the first color that I want to use, let's get that out, is my Gamblin Titanium Zinc White. 